After about two weeks of playing, I've come to the realization I don't like Final Fantasy XIV. What did he say? I hate that it made me wait 50 levels to play a class that was substantially better than the class that I played originally. Because from Thaumaturge to Black Mage, I swear that every day I was I'm fighting for my life! To the point where I gotta fight multiple mobs and put things to sleep so I can fight one mob and not die from the other three while they were from my behind. And then at one point, the mobs become immune to sleep. How you mean to sleep? We all gotta sleep at some point. And then you hit that mark where you go from level 45 to 50 during the story and everything just wants to come in you in packs of threes and it's just not fun anymore. Then it started to feel like all your spells take too long to cast, you don't have enough HP, you don't have enough defense, you're not doing enough damage so you go to the marketplace to look for a better weapon just to find out all the weapons look exactly just like yours besides one or two points of damage off and you can't afford half of them because people overprice yourself to the for low levels. And then you finally hit 50 and come out on the other side of the tunnel and then you come out to be this badass. And by this badass, I mean the Red Mage. Now, if you don't know what a Red Mage is, a Red Mage is like a one-handed swordsman and a mage user got together, had a baby, and decided that this child was going to be a master in close and long-range combat. Because honestly, that's what this class is. It has literally everything. And of course, the first thing I did when I got the class was go through the skill list and look at all the skills. This motherfucker gets a raise and a cure. Like, now I see why they put you behind the low 50 lock, because you're kind of OP, bro. Now, the dungeon I'm running here, this is my first dungeon I ran after unlocking the class, so I'm still getting used to my skills. I didn't know where to put my skills, I just knew I saw a synergy in between the skills, and I had to put them in a spot that made them work together from going left to right, or right to left, rather. Every time I complain about this game with someone, they're like, man, just get to 50 and you'll feel turned around, especially when you get to that next point in the game. You can change your class up, you can become another um, another caster class, you can have so much more fun, you just gotta get to 50. And I was like, nah, I don't think I'm gonna have more fun when I get to 50. I think this is gonna be it. Now, granted, I have not progressed past 50 yet. I haven't been able to get on game due to some situations that came up in my real life. So I do plan on getting back on the game after this video and pushing through, probably going to 70 because I do want to experience the Reaper class. That being said, when I hopped on the Red Mage, I had a lot of fun with the class. I enjoyed the skill system, I enjoyed the complexity of it, I enjoyed the fact that everything chained together to do something else, and it made it so much better than playing a black mage. Like, dual cast was the changing, dual cast changed my life, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, dual cast is so good, why didn't black mage get dual cast they're supposed to be the master of magic and shit? Like, I don't understand why black mage just feels like a very watered down mage. Like, I get it, late game their single target DPS is supposed to be better because they have ley lines and everything like that, but honestly, right now, as the game progresses the levels we are, I don't see a reason to play black mage at all. Because from my perspective, the red mage has better mobility, better vitality, has a heal coming up, has a raise coming up, has a better chance of dealing out damage, can deal out damage consistently, can combo their skills, has an attack that takes them to their target, and it makes them retreat from their target, which means you have more mobility than pretty much every other class in the game next to Dragoon. I think I saw Dragoon had moves like that as well. But I mean, come on now. What is the point of playing Black Mage at all? And I feel bad saying that because I love me some mages. I love magic. I love playing the magic class, the caster class. Like almost as much as I love playing the heavy brute axe class. Almost. But I came into Final Fantasy expecting magic to be magic, bro. Like, I am a huge Final Fantasy nerd. I love Final Fantasy. I played Final Fantasy since I was like, what, nine years old and I played Final Fantasy X? And the magic system in Final Fantasy just had me so intrigued because the glitch system in Final Fantasy X was so intricate. And I expected something along the lines of that here when it came to using magic. And it was just not it. And honestly, if I was to play this game back when the early expansions were the only parts of the game and the Black Mage didn't have all the extra stuff that they have coming up in the later levels coming out, this would make me not want to play the game even more. I think I'm coming into the part of the game where the Black Mage is actually a healthy class because of all the skills they've gotten going down the line. But it took how many expansions for them to get there? Jesus, man, I could not play this game from the beginning as a black mage, waiting on countless expansions for the class just to get better. I've done it in other games, I will never do it again. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, if I bought it back then, I probably would've given it a chance, and not have been one of those idiots waiting like, my class is gonna get better, guys. It, it's gonna get there at some point. <laughs> I just know it, they're, they're finally gonna fix black mage at some point. And then finally at level 51 and 52, well, 52 is when we get ley lines, like, yes, we finally got ley lines. Something with a 120 second cooldown that lasts for 30 seconds that makes us boost our cast speed and boost our um our cooldown speed and makes our gameplay so much better that we have to stay inside and 
wait a minute, they're doing what with the bosses? We got we, we to gotta move out the way of a lot of the skills, and we don't get to stay in ley lines, and ley lines doesn't move with us, and you mean we don't have a skill to let us get back to ley lines until level 60-something? Oh, oh, okay, um, so what are we doing about this? Or we're just gonna wait? Uh, oh, okay, I, I don't think I like this anymore. Yeah, like, that's that would have been my life as a black mage the entire time, bro. Like, I'd have just been waiting for stuff to get good, just to get smacked on my other hand, like, nah, you don't get this good stuff. And then when I finally did the class thing to give Flair, bro, like, it didn't even feel like I got Flair. Like, Flair is supposed to be a skill that, that commands power. And I feel like it doesn't do enough, let's be real. Like, when you get Flair in a regular Final Fantasy game, you get Flair, like, close to, like, middle end game when you're, like, pushing towards the, you know, the final bosses and stuff. And Flair comes out and does, like, crap ton of damage and nukes things on the field. And it's, it's supposed to be, like, this, you know, this non-elemental skill that just does damage. And in this, it feels like, meh. Like, meh. But I do see further down the skills as a higher version of Flair, so maybe it'll get better later on. Like, my thing is, when it comes to these games, I gotta go look down the skill list to keep myself hyped. When I saw the Red Mage skill list, bro, I was, whoo, I was, I was hyped, I'm not gonna lie. When I saw the rest of the Black Mage skills, I was hyped, but it takes so much for you to get there, and you don't have the full survivability that you need to solo as a Black Mage. It's just like, uh, this makes my life so hard that I have to make these decisions and these choices. When my way to cast magic, like, why is the, and I'm going into a whole different subject here. Why is casting magic as a black mage so damn, like, difficult? Because you have to adhere to your, um, to your, your fire and your ice to make sure your damage stays up with your fire and ice skills. And make sure your lightning skill can come up whenever you need it. I know that's not the case going on later on, uh, like, further, further on in the game where you really won't need to focus on that anymore. But, like... Outside of that, we have Flare that eats all of your mana, by the way. Flare eats all of your mana. You have no mana left once you use Flare. That's it. You're just sitting there waiting for your mana to regen. If you haven't, like, you know, uh, swapped over to Ice and, like, you know, or cast the mana regen skill that some people probably don't even use. I don't I don't know what the state of the game is, to be honest, because I'm not at endgame. But mm, it, it's so frustrating as a black mage and a player that wants to play black mage. See that I have to play other classes to just to, to experience the game healthily, healthily. I can't say that word, healthily. Healthily, yeah, that, that's it, healthily. So in a previous video, I did state that I wasn't gonna look up anything for the classes while I played, but I got confused when I got to Red Mage because I was like, okay, this skill goes under this skill, this skill goes under this skill, and then these two skills control this bar, and then these four skills have to use this, break this bar go up so I can use the other skills to make these skills enhance. The chain of this skill, the chain of this skill, and it was just super confusing, and it had me sitting here looking. It is either for the class's low-level rotations, which, I mean, that makes sense because no one's running low-level rotations because you have to just keep progressing so you get to the higher levels, and if anyone was doing low-level rotations, that would have been probably years ago when the expansions just finally came out. <laughs> But that being said, I think I'm just going to keep playing and having fun as I am right now, not worry about rotations, and do the best I can to keep the skills up that I need to keep up, cast skills when they need to be casted, and dodge attacks when they need to be dodged, like I just did on the screen, I just walked out of the way, all demure, very gently. However, as of this point, I'd like to say people are right, when I did hit this point of the game, my world of play had been reinvigorated because I saw the skills, I saw the gameplay change, and it made me want to play more, um, even though I haven't been able to because of things, like I said, about my personal life that I had to go ahead and take care of. But I will be back on Final Fantasy XIV as soon as, like I said, I finish um, uploading this video. And the next stop is going to be level 70 because I want the Reaper. Well, that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. And I hope you guys have enjoyed my little rant slash, um, yeah, whatever the hell this was, to be honest. Hopefully, I see some of you guys in game. I did join a free company recently. I don't know what it was. Um, they invited me randomly, so I joined. And uh, so I'm there, I think. Um, so, yeah, peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.